Secret number four, people have subconscious reasons for preferring one brand over another. Baylor University in the United States proved this with a blind taste test with Coca-Cola and Pepsi. The study highlighted the importance a brand plays in purchasing behavior. Here's what the study did. Coca-Cola, or Baylor University, went to a room just like this. It was 100 people, and they said, hey, guess what? We're going to go in and, uh, and, and give everybody a blind taste test between two soft drinks. What's a blind taste test? You tell me. You don't know what you're drinking. Exactly. You don't know what you're drinking. So they put a styrofoam cup of Coca-Cola, a styrofoam cup of Pepsi. They go through the room just like this, and then they say, taste both of them. And you tell me which one is better. What do you think the results were when they did the blind taste test? <laughs> you think so? Maybe. So a lot of people think that. Go ahead. What do you think the results were? Uh, you have Most people are saying Pepsi. What were you saying? Exactly. No difference. 50% of the room like Coca-Cola, 50% like Pepsi. Now, that means that basically there's not a lot of difference. There's difference in them, but half the people like one, half the people like the other. Then they went into the same group of people, and they said, now we're gonna do a non-blind study. We're gonna go in and we're gonna give you a Coca-Cola bottle, and we're gonna give you a Pepsi bottle, and now we want you to try it. What do you think the results were then? Coke wins. 80% of the people, exactly, liked the Coca-Cola. Lucas got it. 80% of the people said, I think the Coca-Cola tastes better. Now it's the same group of people, so we already know that there's no difference, that 50% like it, 50% don't. So, but 80% of the people said that it tastes better. Now what, what's the reason for that? It's the, the reason is, of course, the power of the Coca-Cola brand. Now I, I this